Hi. Um, like he said, we're, I'm a co-owner of Coots Dairy LLC with my dad and my brother. Um, we got involved with Shredledge back in 2010. Roger was our nutritionist at the time, and we were adding straw to our diets, and we were sick and tired of buying baled straw, grinding it, and putting it in the ration with very little benefit other than fiber. So we were talking with him and about his ideas, and we had the opportunity to work with them, and we bought a Kloss 980 because at that time, uh, they were working with Shear, and that was the only chopper that they were making processors for. Uh, we've been very happy with the, the chopper and the processor. We, when we bought that chopper, we bought a brand new shear processor to put in it for a kernel processor. We used that for 10,000 ton the first year until the prototype machine was ready to come out. Uh, Lyndon brought the prototype machine out the first day. We took half the knives out of the chopper and we spent about 10 hours and chopped 180 tons. So we got a real education that day with the first go around. Um, the second day went a lot better. We chopped about a thousand ton and we vibrated the machine apart and we repaired it that night and went back at it the next morning and about another thousand ton later we had the same issue so we got the welder out and we fixed that problem temporarily. And then we had a couple other issues show up but point is we've been with it through the thick and the thin and starting out it was an extremely rough process and we we learned a lot and they've come a long way in the design and engineer of their product and today we're running a 20 knife drum. We switched the drum in our chopper last year. We were running 12 knives and we were getting too much vibration and it was just throwing too big a slugs at the processor. So this year with the 20 knife drum things run a lot smoother and a lot more efficiently and a lot quieter. A um, couple other things with the Chopping, what we've learned is we started out at 30 millimeters of length, and like Roger said, we did some trials at 35 and some 40 and some mini bunkers, and we just found that it was just too long. So we chopped everything at 30 millimeter length until last year, then we went down to 26 because 26 is sufficient for our rations, and that's what we continue to run with the 26 knife drum. Um, kernel processing is just phenomenal. It's, it's a kernel annihilator, not a kernel processor. It's, we strive for less than two half kernels in a 32 ounce sample. So we, we sift all the fodder out and do all the visual score on the kernels. And if there's more than two that are more than a half size, we, we go make adjustments. Um, as far as production, we, we're Jersey Dairy. Right now we're running about 60 to 61 pounds of milk with no BST. We're running a 5.6 fat and a 3.6, 5 to 3.7 protein. Um, herd health is extremely good. It's almost to the point where our cow treat is afraid he's going to lose his job. He's, we cut, like Frank said, we, we cut two DAs last year, the entire year. And with our jerseys, anything else we roll. So herd health is extremely good that way. Um, reproduction, we're running about a 32% preg rate. Along with all those attributes, you get a lot better reproduction and overall herd health. A um, Couple other points, uh, shredlage. When we went from regular process corn silage to shredlage, we had it in one long 400 foot bunker that was about 40 feet wide. It was our carryover bunker by the time the unit was processed. So we filled three quarters of that with shredlage and then the unit was pretty much done for for the year. So we finished up chopping with our regular processor and so we were able to do density scores in that same bunker. It was the same practice going in and we had an independent third party pull all the samples. He cored them and then he dried each sample down individually and we were achieving about a 16 and a half to 17 pounds per cubic foot with regular corn silage. And with the shredlage, we were at 20 and a half to 21 pounds per cubic foot with the same practices. Um, so it definitely packs well and they explained that. Um, I guess as far as ration changes, when we transitioned, since we were one of the very first dairies to transition onto shredlage, we took things easy, we did it in three steps. We were adding about a pound and a half of straw to our ration. Uh, we took that out about a half a pound at a time. Uh, we lowered the cotton seed about two pounds, roughly. 
and we also took some corn out of the ration. So about three years ago when protein prices were a little less expensive, our ration savings for our dairy was 15 cents per cow per day at that time. And 15 cents per cow per dairy on our herd is $75,000 a year. Production-wise, we saw about a pound and a half at that time. Um, reason I think we only saw about a pound and a half is we didn't lead feed the cows. We kept the ration balanced for the same milk as what our previous ration was when we did all the adjustments. And today we're up, up over four pounds from where we were at that time. Uh, feed efficiency in the cows is extremely well. Like I said, with our high components on energy corrected milk, we're running between 1.8 to 2. So they're extremely efficient that way. And I attribute some of that to shredlage just because we're able to utilize everything that's going into the rumen. We're not just bulking the cows up with straw or something else. We feed haylage also due to our crop rotation about 60% of our ration is comprised of forage and about 15% of it is haylage right now. We're doing a lot of work with cover crops, trying to get our acres of corn silage up so we can feed more corn silage. But you know, when it comes to managing a dairy and feed supply, if you have a year like last year where you have an extreme drought, your hay is down, you can go buy corn from your neighbors, but there's not many cash croppers who grow hay where you can go buy haylage from them and have that trucked in. So it just management wise, it opens up a lot of opportunities there also. Um, as far as efficiency through the chopper, we saw a little bit, of, little bit of a decrease with efficiency when we had 12 knives in, and it's just because things were not flowing as efficiently, but with a 20 knife drum, we feel the efficiency is right there, really close to where it was before. I don't think you have much drag in the machine at all there. Uh, reliability has been extremely well the past two years. The first year we had a real education, the second year we had a couple issues also, and the past two years have been really good. This year has been flawless so far.